Welcome to Kentucky Route 5, the number one Kentucky Route 5 podcast. That's right. Probably not the number one uh, podcast in Kentucky. Well, we're not in Kentucky. We've actually barely ever been to Kentucky. That's right. But that's, this, that's kind of just a running joke. <laughs> it is. Welcome to downtown we've, Kentucky. We've been there. We've been there once. And this is Kentucky Route 5, which is a podcast where me and my co-host, I'm Austin, and my co-host is Chris, and we're going to talk hey. about our top five favorite or top five potential somethings. This episode's different than what we've done in our test podcast or our official one before but yeah typically we talk about our top five favorite things chris explain what we're doing today (laughs) so today to kind of mix it up for our top five and kind of open the uh open the world of possibilities for what this podcast can be uh we we decided to go with the route of our top five choices um for uh, famous people that we would like to be friends with, or we think that you know, in in a would make strange good alternate friends. reality, yeah. we might be friends with. Yeah, yeah. People whose like personalities we think we would enjoy spending time with, and hopefully they wouldn't. They would enjoy spending time with us. Yeah. So we're gonna start off. Yeah. We're gonna start off hot. We're gonna start off with hot. Chris's number five. That's right. You ready for this? My Chris? number five. Speaking of hot, yeah, let her rip. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, now it sounds like I think they're hot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Gordon... are, are you denying Gordon Ramsay's attractiveness? <laughs> I mean, he's a good-looking man, uh, but he's not, you know, he's not personally uh, my type. That's fair. Uh... <laughs> Uh, but uh, is, no, I, I was weird. referencing, you know, you know, Hell's Kitchen was. Oh, uh, that makes a lot Lerato more sense. Tried. I thought you were just, you know, attracted to, you know, Gordon Ramsay. To Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. No, I, I mean, nothing, you know, to to bash the guy because he seems. He's a happily uh, married. Wonderful. He's a happily married man. I don't think he gives a crap what you think about how he looks. You know what? <laughs> You're almost certainly right. So why don't you explain why you think he'd be a good thinks. friend? Why don't we get back a little bit more refocused and stop talking about the attractiveness of Gordon Ramsay? That's fair. Uh, that, is, that is fair. Um, so this was partially not just, like, why I think he would be a good friend, but also uh, just, like, why I want to be friends with him. Okay. Uh, and that is because... Uh, a, I love food. Um, B, and while I have no attractive. culinary experience, no. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Because he's a crack. I <laughs> feel bad because it was one of those situations where I definitely talked over you because you know, where this is digital and I didn't realize that you were talking. I'm sorry. Oh, this is a great audio podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh. <laughs> uh but yeah, I, I kind of just I, I like food a lot, uh, and you know Gordon Ramsay is a world round chef, and while I have no culinary experience, I feel like you know a, a fun hangout session would just be like learning things in the kitchen with him, because despite his demeanor on you know most American television shows, uh, like outside of uh, Hell's Kitchen and uh, Restaurant Nightmares. Uh, he seems like a really like genuinely nice person. Have you seen the uh, uh, ad for his master class on cooking? I have not. It looked really uh, cool. He seemed really nice. It just <laughs> he seemed really nice and informative. You know, everyone gets those master class ads these days. They're everywhere. And there was like a mm. trailer for his master class on cooking and I was like, I wouldn't like any of the food he makes, but I kind of just want to hear him talk. I'll consider buying this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, he he seems like a really genuine dude, too. Um, That's fair. Like, every time I, I see him speak, uh, like, outside of those kind of, like, super dramatic American, uh, I guess you call it reality TV, Yeah, that, that yeah. he used to be on, uh, he's just super nice and is always, like, 
the criticisms that he gives people are always very heartfelt. Um, like even on American television, he kind of has you know his levels. Like you got your you yeah. know you got your Hell's Kitchen where he's he's Gordon Ramsay that we that we think of when we think of Gordon Ramsay. He's yelling at you that the food is bloody raw and all that. But then you also yeah. have him on like you know uh, Master Chef where he's still can get mad at you, but like he's still a lot more nice even on that. Which so even on even if you only know him because of American television, you can find stuff where he's not totally overbearing. <laughs> yeah. Also, I've seen like TikToks of him with his uh, his daughters, okay. and it's just like the super wholesome content. Uh, and to to see that and see Gordon Ramsay just being you know classic dad uh, <laughs> is just it's just so nice honestly. Fair. I I feel like he would be one of those like really wholesome people. Mm. Uh, just uh, a, a pleasure to be around. At yeah. least is is the vibes that I get. Uh, so yeah, that's that's why he he he's made my number five. Number five. All right, let's take that down. What we're changing it up. I know you tuned in last week and you're like, this this podcast is almost perfect, but it, it's really awkward that one of them talks for for thirty minutes before the other one talks. <laughs> right. So we yeah. heard you. Yeah, that's complain, what everyone was saying. Really. And, and we're we're fixing said complaint. So now what? Look at this. Oh, boom! We're going over to my number five now. Oh we're alternating my this. Switching it up. <laughs> oh. Crazy. <laughs> The Absolutely first episode, wild. we didn't figure out how to do this right yet? Crazy. That's insane. But don't worry. This Are you is saying a... that there's possibilities that things might might change? In the yeah, future? like, the the third episode might be just good, unlike these first two. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, probably not, change. Let's be honest. It won't be good. I don't know. But this podcast will probably never podcast. be good. But thank you for trying to watch it. <laughs> All yeah, right. If you're if you're or listening. Yeah, or, or listening. Audio. If I release this as an audio podcast at some point, I haven't. The first first week of episodes of our podcast came out. I Take haven't them put up. them anywhere. Go to, go to YouTube, oh. downtown Kentucky at YouTube. You're gonna have to. We don't have like a good URL yet, so you're gonna have to like search it and then go to channels. But we're the first one when you do that. <laughs> hey. So yeah, my number five after right, that little YouTube one. plug, uh, we got with. Also, I did a YouTube plug for no one, because this is only going to be seen by people on YouTube if it's ever seen by anyone. <laughs> oh, true. true. <laughs> yeah, there's no one in... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on. Okay. Number <laughs> five, I got James Willems. Ah, uh, yeah. James Willems, who James he Willems. is... I'll be honest, I could have very easily made a top five list of YouTubers I want to be friends with. But that feels like a weird list to make. So I chose to only do one. Yeah. So That's I chose fair. James Willems. One, because he's hilarious. I love laughing. I like to think that I'm mildly amusing, so I'd hope I'd mildly amuse him. But the thing that pushes him above a lot of other people is the man also loves pro wrestling, which is also something I'm insanely passionate about. <laughs> mm, so it's true. I feel like when it comes to YouTubers... Not only is he part of one of my favorite channels, Funhouse, go subscribe to them, because they're way better than us. That is <laughs> go watch them. Why are you here? Go watch Funhouse. <laughs> I mean, you can finish watching us if you'd like. But no, no, but pause to... this video, go watch the oh, most okay. recent Funhouse video, and then when you, like, want to decompress after watching something so funny, come back and chill out with us. Yeah. <laughs> This is your your late night podcast before this you. The, fall this is the new self deprecation podcast we're trying. <laughs> so James Willem, he's hilarious. His wife almost made the list instead of him, but it's the wrestling. Yeah, honestly, his wife could have made my list. Yeah, she, his wife is hilarious. They're a great. Here's the thing: if you're friends with James, it means you're probably going to get to be friends with Elise as well. So it's kind yeah, of a it's a kind of a win win, but. The thing that pushes James over Elise or any other YouTuber I could have chose, who I also find hilarious, was the love of wrestling. I feel like he likes comedy, he likes wrestling. That's already more than I have in common with most people. So, you know, there's a chance. Mm. If we met, he might not hate me. <laughs> there is a chance. There's a very slim chance. 
Yeah. Not Honestly, if he ever I sees this podcast. On my list would want to be friends with yeah. me. Not if he saw this podcast, though. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think anyone would want to be friends with us, famous or not, after yeah. they saw this podcast. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be friends with us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to your number yeah. four. Let's try to make this less awkward. It won't be. This is a <laughs> this is a weird episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't worry. Yeah, all of them will be weird episodes, by yeah. the way, so don't expect anything to change yeah. from here on out. The last episode, you know, we talked about comedy movies, but also about Ryan Reynolds for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, mm. who knows? Let's, know. let's go. What's your, who's your number four? My number four is a uh, musical artist, uh, very well-known, Billie Eilish. Yeah. Uh, I, I went with her because... Honestly, she just seems like a really chill person. Uh, That's fair. And someone who I could very easily become friends with. Uh, just based on, I mean, sure, is what somebody posts on social media, uh, you know, uh, something to go by, you know, how that person is in their day to day? No, yes. probably not. Oh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Uh, but no, yeah, I mean, how she presents herself, like, uh, especially in any of the interviews I've seen, um, again, she seems super genuine, um, but her personality just, I feel like I'd vibe with her a lot. Um, she's a very chill personality, and, you know, when I'm not in front of a camera, I feel like I'm also a, a very chill person, uh, very lax, uh, I like to crack a lot of jokes. It's true. Yeah. Uh, but She's yeah, also a multi-time, you know, Grammy Award winner. You used to sing sometimes. I used to sing and sing <laughs> on occasion. Yeah. I still like to sing. So, I mean, like, uh, but you're I pretty don't much do the it same. for a job anymore. You're pretty much the same. Basically. Yeah, we could definitely jam out in some jam sessions. Uh, she does yeah. seem really genuine, yeah, no, like, on, like, hot ones or stuff like that, like, or that one stupid <laughs> Vanity Fair thing where they, the, you know, Vanity Fair interviews her every year. <laughs> she seems nice. Yeah. And those yeah, those things like... feel like you said social media. Sometimes it's you could here's the thing you could fake yourself in any of those videos, but those videos seem yeah. genuine. Yeah, no, most most definitely. I feel like honestly, on hot ones, all of the walls kind of break down due to the hot sauce and any semblance of like. Them. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got this together. I've, I can throw on my, my, my mask. Uh, the capsaicin and Sean Evans uh, interviewing skills really kind of just break down the walls, and you get to get this kind of nice, uh, intimate experience between him and the, and the interviewee. Uh, but yeah, from from what I saw on Hot Ones and uh, some of those other like Vanity Fair interviews, she seems like a really cool person, um, and yeah, just someone who would be super cool to hang out with and just vibe listen to music sing uh play video games yeah yeah it's fair. yeah i think it's fair i'm not i'm not like i'm not offended that you're you want to be friends with her <laughs> well i'm offended that you're not <laughs> how dare you not question my choices how but, but, but why chris she's got weird hair i don't know she seems cool why would i have a problem with this <laughs> you know, I wasn't a huge fan of the green and black hair. I gotta be honest, but I've got nothing for uh, nothing but respect for her for uh, you know doing literally whatever she wants with her hair and marrying whatever she wants, which is another kind of motto that I go by in life is like wear what you like. Fair. And uh, boy, does she do that. Uh, yeah. So respect to the homie for that one. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go yeah, back. I mean, that's, that's all I got. Oh, she, she's already off, off the screen. We're done talking about her. I don't care if you okay. have anything else you want to say. It's over. And that is all I have to say about Billie Eilish for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> all <laughs> right. Nothing. Now it's time for my number four, which I'll be honest, I don't remember what I put here. So let's reveal the picture. <laughs> that's right. Even I. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's James Buckley. He is a. I just really uh, like people named James. Huh? There, there was a point where I think four people on this list were named James. It's now only number two. James and the giant. Peach. Now there's only three. 
Spoiler, there's another James coming up later. Stay tuned. One of the numbers might shock you. Oh, we should have, like, clickbaited this, you know? <laughs> there's no way to clickbait this. I'm going to be 100% with you. Yeah, so number four, I should talk about James Buckley. Uh, James Buckley yeah. is a uh, comedic British actor. Um, he's Ooh. probably most famous for his role as Jay on The Inbetweeners, which is a really funny British comedy sitcom. Like, really, like... Yeah, it's just a really funny show. He's on that. I've all, The reason he made this list, obviously, is not just, oh, he's an actor that I like, because that's lame. But... <laughs> But is uh, he's done a lot of I've ha- I've seen him on a lot of podcasts and he also plays video games and sometimes will be like a guest on Let's Plays, and he just seems like a genuine fun guy to be around. Like he just seems nice and cool and funny. I don't have a lot more to say about him. He seems he's really funny. He seems really nice. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, if you haven't seen Inbetweeners. Maybe go watch it. Maybe. Yeah, uh, I think I've heard of The Inbetweeners, but I don't think I've actually uh, watched it. The Inbetweeners is a very, I guess we'll say raunchy, you know, British comedy sitcom. Like, it's very, like, it's definitely not for for the children. For the children, no. Uh, You might hurt my light Christian sensibilities Uh, with that. Sure, I guess, should we we, we go back to your top five list from last week? Do you want to? You want to pick up that? Yeah, let's not do that. Let's oh, okay. Not. Let's move. You know what? Let's let's move on to number three on your list. <laughs> okay. Uh, so number three on my list. So again, despite not being a huge fan of comedy movies, uh, the number three person on my <laughs> famous people I'd like to be friends with is Paul Rudd. <laughs> he almost uh, made my list. Man, I tell you what. Every time. Uh, and I mean, would you look at that smile? Oh, he's just such would a genuine, look, genuinely happy, kind-looking look, soul. I've I don't think I've ever seen a picture of Paul Rudd where he didn't just look like the most kind and like like genuinely happy person I've ever seen. Do you remember? I'm sure you've seen uh, it. You know the picture that like was taken after like Endgame with all the cast with their serious smug faces, all like all the, like. We're serious. No. We're serious. And then you just have him and Tom Holland both like, "Hi, we're happy to be here." <laughs> <laughs> you got Tom uh, Holland who's just it. a you know a little kid everywhere he goes, and then you had Paul Rudd who's also first off Paul Rudd. I mean, we talked about how attractive you know. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Is? No, you're number five. We haven't talked about Ryan Reynolds today. This is uh, not a Ryan okay. Reynolds podcast. We need to stop I'm that sorry. narrative. I'm just take it out of my head. That this is not the Ryan Reynolds podcast. This is. Kentucky Route 5. Okay. The Ryan Reynolds podcast comes out on Thursdays. Mm, yes, there is now a fourth <laughs> podcast, the Ryan yeah, Reynolds the podcast. the Ryan Reynolds pod. It's actually called so the funny. Ryan Reynolds bod pod, where we just talk about his abs. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I think you might have to find a new co-host for that one. Oh, that's fair. I don't need a co-host. I'll just I'll just talk about him the whole time. Four, out, four hours a week, just me talking about Ryan Reynolds. Uh, I don't know if I'll be there for it. Uh, anyways, yes. <laughs> I, like I believe you were going to say, uh, <laughs> before we got severely the sidetracked. The point is, Paul, what I was going to say was, you're right. Paul this Rudd is, is beautiful. Paul Rudd is a beautiful 40-plus-year-old man who looks the same as he has since he's like 20. The man doesn't age, yeah. and it's amazing. I I want I wish I looked I wish I looked as good as him in my twenties, which I don't. So I know by the time yeah. I get to my forties, I am screwed. <laughs> but his looks, regardless, because that's not why I want to be friends with him. Although he is an incredibly handsome. We definitely man. want to be friends with people for different reasons. <laughs> I think you need to reevaluate what a friend is. Well, I want to be the ugly friend to these, like, really attractive people so they look even more attractive. Mm-hmm. I see. That's why we're friends. Their, I'm here to help you. They're attractive. Mm, yeah. I mean. Mm. Is that not, is that, is it not working? I, oh, crap. Am sorry. I the attractive friend? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, of I've the two. I've got self-image issues. Well, let's, let's um, see. It's the, 
this is so off topic, but it's the old, like, the joke is about the attractive girl complex and how they have the one ugly friend is that none of them are that attractive, but they become more attractive because they're in a group of people with one mm-hmm. unattractive person. I see. So I really wasn't even complimenting you that much. Ah, well, good. <laughs> Because I can't handle it. Put you back in your place. Talk about why you like Paul Rudd, you wild animal. Mm. Wild. Are we gonna be able to release this? (laughs) I don't know if we are. This is this is this is derailing very quickly. (laughs) But it's fine. Embrace the chaos. Embrace it. (laughs) Uh, Speaking of chaos, uh, Paul Rudd. And I I feel like he doesn't seem chaotic at all. He seems like the most like straight laced of all the comedians like he just seems like such a like happy energy not a chaotic energy i feel like no i feel like if if we're talking about like alignment charts he feels very chaotic good like he'll definitely always pick the right choice but he'll probably go about it in like the most roundabout way um i guess maybe i feel like he might be lawful good i think he's really just good but no, yeah, he seems like a great guy, just all around, uh, just a, a a wonderful human being. Um, I see Paul Rudd in any film, um, and really any interview, and it's just like rays of of joy just emanating from the man. Uh, I really, <laughs> I hmm. yeah. There's something about him that just makes me want to be around Paul Rudd, and I kind of forget when I'm not. Like when I, if I haven't seen a Paul Rudd movie for a long time, like, hmm. Oh my gosh, Paul Rudd is. A and then I watch a Paul Rudd movie, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to watch more Paul Rudd movies. Paul Rudd's <laughs> a siren. He's a siren. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's the siren of like the mythical like, like they like they lure you in with like their oh. energy, and he's all he's super attractive, you know, like, and he mm. just makes you want to be with him. He's a siren. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I think it's a siren. It now makes... I'm one. Now I'm questioning if I'm thinking of the right mythological. Well, a siren would be someone who sings and oh. lures you into the sea. Uh, I don't know. Uh, whew. Excuse me. <laughs> let us, Sorry, let us know the, in the uh, chat under... of this YouTube video what mythical creature do you think Paul Rudd is? Yeah, I mean, I'd be curious to know what he really is uh, because he's definitely not human. No, uh, no one can be that that radiant of a human and vampires uh, aren't this charming so no no and also i mean look at him he's not he's not nearly pale enough to be a vampire that man clearly sees a solid amount of vitamin d what the crap is this podcast i don't know (laughs) kind of just gushing on paul rudd right now these are all my man crushes and also billy eilish is it's kind of a man crush (laughs) podcast from you but it's fine and me, I'm, I'm definitely playing into the joke that you de- didn't try to have. <laughs> Are you done talking about Paul Rudd? Do you have any a- a- actual yeah. points to make? Uh, what else can I say about the man? He's just, hmm, it's wonderful. Okay. Wonderful man. Time for Seems my like really cool number guy. three. Which I Not forgot. Paul Rudd. I forgot. Paris. Yeah, so here we go. Oh, here it is. It's Will, it's Will Friedel. Friedel, I think it's pronounced? Couldn't tell you. I think it's Will Friedel. He, um, he's mostly a voice actor. He also does... Um, he's the voice of, like, Ron Stoppable. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He also was Eric Matthews on Boy Meets World, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. And just... Oh. He just seems... Age... Like... He looks so different. Yeah. <laughs> he... I don't even know if this picture is even recent. He might look different now. Who knows? I tried to find recent pictures of everyone, but it was kind of hard on some of them. That's fair. But yeah. That's yeah. not relevant. The point is, why I like Will Friedel is because he see I like... Well, honestly, he just seems nice. Like, I've seen him... Most of this... I'll be honest. I, unlike a lot of the stuff so far on the list, I do feel like I probably know less about him as a person because he's not in as much stuff where he shows who yeah. he is as a person. So I could be com- being completely tricked by the characters he's playing in wanting to be friends with him. It's it, There's a possibility. <laughs> yeah. If, if Comment in the chat if you know Will Friedel personally and I'm wrong about wanting to be friends with him. 
Yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell you anything about. There's Wilfredo, no way Paul. Yeah. That, <laughs> Not... You know, he's he's the voice of Ron Stoppable. He is. He's also a lot of other voices. He's um Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond. Hmm. Hmm. Those are the two that came to my mind when I thought, but he's done a lot of other stuff, and he's, you know, I have seen some, like, videos of him, like, being a real person, and he seems cool. He seems nice. He, hmm. One of the big things about a lot of the people on my list is I like to laugh. I like to make people laugh. Like, I, like I, he seems like someone who would like to laugh. And I, hmm. my, my goal in life is to, you know, use my one redeeming quality, which is my sense of humor, and hopefully make people laugh. Hmm. You know, I felt that. I felt that a lot. <laughs> yeah. So that's I've, number I've three a, on my okay, list. Will Friedel. He's Will really Friedel. good at his job. <laughs> He's a pretty solid voice actor. I do like his, the work that I know that he is in. Yeah. All right. Let's go to your number two. All right, guys. Welcome to Flavor Town because number two is Guy Fieri. It's Fieri. Uh, well, yeah, I did say his last name, <laughs> and I deeply apologize because I was like before the podcast, like, don't forget to say his name correctly, and Guy you Fieri. Did. You definitely and then I did it not. I managed to completely biff it, baby. Also, I want to say, like, you know, I mentioned earlier about how you know Ryan Reynolds, or not Ryan Reynolds, brain is. Always wow. on Ryan Reynolds because yeah. he's Ryan Reynolds. How could it not be, really? James Willems, how you get two people with one because of, you know, his awesome, talented wife as well. With, yeah. you know, yeah. Guy Fieri, you also get the lead singer of Smash Mouth and Violent J from Insane Clown Posse. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Do you really get those other two people or they're are they all, just all three like, the They're all people? the same person, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, no. Oh! <laughs> Uh, that right there, that's why we're, I'm able to click comedy on the YouTube upload. Because I try ah. to be funny. <laughs> ah, yes. Those are jokes. Yes. <laughs> uh, but, man. Guy Fieri just seems like the embodiment of a good time when you're hanging out with him. Uh, he, he Every time he's in, like, a diner's drive-ins and dives, he's just hanging out with the, with the chefs in the kitchen... Just talking about the food. Uh, he's he's just super down to earth with everyone he meets, uh, and just like he's one of those guys that you meet, and like immediately you're not a stranger to him. Uh, Fair. Like it, it seems like you could just like right off the bat just become friends, uh, and I feel like specifically when I think of Guy Fieri, I think of like just him driving me around in his uh you know hot rod mustang with the flames on the side taking me like the the hottest places to eat in san antonio that i don't know about well you should watch uh, the episodes of diners drivers and dives from san antonio it exists i mean it does exist but i'm sure he has other places that he'd he'd, he'd you know he'd have in the old tank um to visit but uh again I enjoy eating, and I also enjoy just having a good time and hanging out with friends. And he seems like one of the people who, like, if you were to hang out with him, you would just never have a dull moment. Uh, he, he's uh, he's also a room. genuine, amazing human being. Yeah, no, like, most he, definitely. Like, he is, like, a huge, like, like he's huge in, like, philanth philanthropy and stuff like that. Like, whenever, like something happens in like uh like california like whenever like the wildfires he's like one of the first people to like show up and just pass out groceries to people in need and stuff like he's genuinely yeah. like it's funny to make a lot of jokes the internet loves to make jokes yeah. about about him i try to about how he looks you know yeah. you can make I mean, jokes about some the, of the stupid catchphrases but... he has but he's also like the it's just a good dude. Yeah, <laughs> of all the people on this list, I think so far, at the very least, he's got the best track record of like doing good things that I can think of. Like just like the thing, like a lot of the people like seem like good people and all, like they seem nice. He's yeah. proven that he's nice and cares about people. Like, <laughs> and like yeah. here's the thing: if he'll do that for just the random stranger, imagine what he'd do for his friends. He'd always be there for you if you needed him. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and that is why he makes a very solid number two on my list. I mean, it's funny, but I do agree that he's... I, I'm not... I, I, I respected this choice more than I did Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm a fat kid on the inside. I might be skinny, but I like food a lot. That's, that's okay. All right, my number two pick for person, famous person that I wish I could uh-huh. be friends with is John Mulaney. Mm. Once mm. again, I like to laugh. And John Mulaney is so funny in, like, everything I've ever seen him do. <laughs> John Mulaney making me laugh. He makes me laugh. Uh, here's like, I don't think I can make John Mulaney laugh, I'll be honest. But I think if he was yeah. willing to put up with me as being, like, the friend who's not funny, I could have a great time just laughing at the antics of John Mulaney. He just, he seems like a cool guy. I mean, apparently he, he you know, has had some, you know, you know, needed to go to rehab because that's where I found this picture. Apparently, like it was the article with this was connected to was that he apparently went to rehab. But you know, he came out of rehab, so hopefully, you know, he's got his problems under control. Problems don't make you a bad person. Nothing. And I didn't see any articles about him like doing bad things. Just that you know, he you know decided to go to rehab for some drug and alcohol issues. But hey, doesn't mean he's not a good friend. Here's the thing: I don't do drugs and alcohol, so I'd be a great influence on him as a friend. I'm straight edge, baby. We'd be great together. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, John Mulaney, let me be your sponsor. Uh, <laughs> let me be your exactly. <laughs> I need to be John Mulaney's sponsor because I haven't done drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. I don't know why I even brought that up, but I guess I just felt like I needed to. It wasn't necessary. This is the weirdest podcast ever. <laughs> It is a very strange podcast. Some some strange energy. And I'll be honest, on. that's all I have to say about Java Lady is that he seems really <laughs> funny, and I like funny he seems people. Really funny, and he's done drugs. <laughs> you that wasn't supposed to be the point. The point was I was talking about how he seems like a good guy, and I then I hadn't felt like I needed to bring up that he might have some issues, because he might. But that's fine. People can work through issues. He I can know, still I don't be a think great anyone friend. else on this issue, uh, on these lists have any issues, so you know. I mean, I honestly, know. he might be technically, yeah, sure, but okay. The point is, well, I mean, let's be real. Let's take a pause. That was a joke. That was a, a joke. Was there? I'm sure all these other people have problems. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know, but I'm sure they. They do. don't have as publicly <laughs> outfacing problems. Mm. But you know, the point is, John Mulaney make me laugh. John Mulaney, make me friend? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Chris, who's your number one? My number one, believe it or not, is Ryan Reynolds. That's right, maybe <laughs> it's the Ryan Reynolds podcast No, that's on Thursdays. Gosh dang this it. This is the Ryan Reynolds podcast, baby. Unofficially, unofficially <laughs> Ryan Reynolds podcast. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure to to no one's surprise, Ryan Reynolds, uh, the Canadian heartthrob, has landed my number one spot. Uh, I mean, we gushed about him <laughs> for like 15 minutes on our on our first episode, and for like a couple uh, minutes already on this episode. <laughs> and I mean, how can you not like the guy? He's so funny. He's so witty. Uh, he owns Mint Mobile. Yes, he he owns. Wait, what? Mint he Mobile. Owns Mint yeah. Mobile. Yeah, he owns Mint Mobile. Uh, if you're an alcoholic, he owns Aviation Gin. Uh, Him and John Mulaney should not be friends. I'm no, saying it. No, absolutely not. Uh, drink responsibly if you do drink alcohol. By the way, yeah. not saying that you should, but if you do, do it responsibly. Uh, Good PSA. But. <laughs> Back to why Ryan Reynolds, uh, I, I would want him to be my friend most of all, and why I think that you know maybe our personalities would melt, uh, is because he is—he's uh, got this really excellent style of comedy, where he riffs really well off of people, mm. and I feel like honestly I'm not super funny on my own, Absolutely. but like I, I, when I'm a, I was about to agree with you, and then I realized that was going to sound rude, and I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like, yes, me too. I don't think you or me are funny on our own. I mean, like, we're funny-ish at times, but what makes us 
somewhat funny at times is riffing off each other and other people and stuff in our lives. Like, yeah. So yeah, I no, agree absolutely. with you, even though I sounded like I was going to insult you by agreeing with you. I was trying not to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I feel like if Ryan Reynolds and I were friends, we could, like, just riff off each other endlessly just making jokes nonstop, left and right, uh, and I would have the absolute time of my life doing it. Uh, and, uh, I mean, if he was in, in my inner circle of friends and we we're all hanging out together, uh, which, I mean, I guess hanging out with a 40-year-old with a bunch of, like, 20-something-year-olds would maybe that's be a little bit tricky okay, for him. okay, because we're all adults. Yeah, we're all adults. Yeah. But I, feel I, feel like, like, yeah. I feel like if... If he had time. the time, he could have a lot of fun playing D and D with our D and D crew. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I feel like he'd be one of the kind. Uh, I don't know if he plays D and D or not. Uh, he he seems like a very chill dude, probably down to try most things. Uh, but I I absolutely feel like he would make a ridiculous character and just riff super well off of the DM. Uh, just I. Uh, uh, a comedic genius masterpiece, mm. love it, uh, and also he's gorgeous. But again, oh, yeah, mostly that. My qualifications, right? why people oh. are on my list. Oh, that that's, not that's that's why he's number one on my list. Wait, what? Oops, spoiler. Uh oh. Wait, <laughs> what was it? Who's number one on your? I list? made a joke about him being number one on my list. Oh, okay. Or was it a joke? Well, uh, let's find it? out. <gasps> So now I want to like take a little time to explain something I told Chris off stream. Oh. I really, really te was tempted to put Blake Lively as my number one, and then just talk about why I wanted to be friends with Ryan Reynolds because I already knew Chris had Ryan Reynolds on his list, and me and Chris kind of have a rule that we try at least to not do the same people. Yeah, because you know it's less entertain, less time for discussion if we're talking to the same person. But I decided against it. As much as I do think Ryan Reynolds would make a great friend, I decided not to put him in, or Blake Lively on the list as a joke. <laughs> My so number sad. one is actually a weird one. He's actually the only person who is deceased on this whole list of people. It's the third James. It's Jim Henson. Ah. Oh, okay. So I'll be. So I'm gonna have a little story time here. Jim Henson. In February or March of this year, maybe February, a little February, would not have made my list. I didn't know much about Jim Henson at all. But then I found this, uh, I'm, once again, we're going to do a plug for another channel, not us, because there's so many people who are doing way better content than we are. <laughs> That's fair. We are uh, fairly new streamers. There is a, there's is a YouTube channel called Defunct Land, who mostly oh, talk yeah, about yeah, like yeah. theme parks, but also have a series where they talk about TV shows. They had a special, like series where they talked about Jim H the story of Jim Henson. It's like six episodes and they just they go through his life and all this stuff and just hearing the man's story, like just the drive that man ha had to like do good work and like that stuff like it was inspiring. I'll be honest, it's part of what like makes me want to do things like this is I want to make content for people like he did. I want to make people happy like Jim Henson did. I think we would get. I think we'd get along because we both desire to make people happy, and we both also. He is also in some ways a comedian, like everyone else on my list. Because I really only like comedy. That's who I am. I'm sorry, people. If you wanted something different, you're gonna be disappointed in me. I like comedy. That's yeah. who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Jim Henson, just all around. Like he, like he, he, he could be stern at times with people. It might be you know sometimes hard to work under him from stories like. Because he was kind of a perfectionist at times. But, like, mo no one really had a, like, truly bad things to say about him. He was... People mm. people liked Jim Henson who knew Jim Henson. Because they knew that even if he was being a little mean to you that day, it's because he had passion and knew that you could do better. He could see that in you. He could see your ability and would want to pull it out of you. And just... Fair Jim Henson, great guy. The Muppets. I, I was never a huge fan of The Muppets. I'll be honest, which is weird. I like the Muppets. I think the Muppets are good. But, like, I developed a more of an appreciation for the Muppets after watching that Defunct Land documentary on Jim Henson. Jim Henson, great guy. I would love to have been, had the chance to be friends with Jim Henson. Sadly, he 
might have not believed in medicine, so now he's gone. But... Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. I guess, you know, that's... I, that concludes that the, is the Kentucky Route 5 for our famous friend. <laughs> that, is, that is the first, the second episode of Kentucky Route 5 where we discuss our top five people we want to be famous, people we want to be friends with. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, best episode ever? Mm -hmm. Probably maybe. not. But hey, maybe <laughs> you enjoyed this somehow. And, you know, yeah. if you did, thank you for enjoying it. If you didn't, hey... Send us to your enemy. A view is a view. We need views. Please help we need us. Views so bad. Oh Please. man, we have no views. Please. Please. Like you you wanna be on our next top five friends list? Give us views and we'll put you on the list. Mm. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Are we bribing viewers now? Huh? Bribing viewers? No, what? just just begging. Beg just begging. No, no we're not giving him anything. Okay. I mean we'll give him like subpar content. But, you know. Ah, yeah, it's up our content, It's baby. like, it's the meme, you know. You give us a subscriber, you give us a view, we give you nothing. <laughs> hey? Pretty Worth good, it? you know, exchange, I'd say. Will <laughs> this episode come out? Yeah, probably. Will there ever be an episode like this again? We'll see. No. <laughs> <laughs> will we stick to media and will this show have a life? a shorter lifespan because there's we'll run out of media concepts maybe we'll see was this too off the wall of an idea to go for maybe was it just the right amount where you found it funny we'll never know because you might never watch this who knows thanks for watching catch you next week <laughs>